two, one. We are live. Good morning, uh, Facebookers. Good morning, Instagrammers. Great to have you here. I know it's a bank holiday, but uh, I don't know about you, but I just love to do things. I, I love to do things the opposite way. I don't. I don't know if if you're like that. Um, I love to go on holiday when everyone else is working. I love to get on the motorway when no one else is there. I, I love to. I don't know why I. That's just part of who I am. I don't like doing what everyone else is doing. Uh, how many of you are like that? You know, it's difficult sometimes because obviously we have to conform. Uh, you know, people work and then they can only go on holidays when everyone else is having holidays, especially if you have kids. But it's very easy just to to fit in and be like everybody else. And if you want to be like everyone else, then that's great, especially if you are happy. But for most of us, if we if we want to be happier, we want to be healthier, we need to look at things a little bit differently to perhaps how we currently do. Because, and this is something that I say a lot, if you always do what you always have done, <coughs> then guess what? You're always going to get the same thing. But one of the, the things which is so easy to do is just to do what everyone else is doing. You know, just to just to just to copy, and that <coughs> is one of the reasons why hum, human humans are a little bit messed up because of messaging. So this week is all about emotional stamina. I'm very excited to be able to deliver you what I believe will be some incredible content, some content once again that you applying this to your life is going to make a huge difference. And if you want to share this, I would really encourage you to share it because this is something once again that this information can be very powerful to people and can give them a different perspective. Uh, what My365 is about, it's not just about giving you the best information that I believe is out there. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm like a seeker. Um, I'm, a, I'm like a reconnaissance man. If, if in battle, I would be the person that would have gone ahead, gone ahead before everybody else to go and see what was ahead and then come back and tell you. That's kind of like who I am. I did that from a very early age as a paper boy. You know, I'd get up before everybody else, go and deliver the papers. So it's there for people when they wake up and they can read the news and read often how bad and how wrong things are. So I'm someone who is extremely passionate about seeking the information that you need to help you be the very, very best. And I believe I am one of the best, you know, because I don't know anyone that does what I do, you know. I'm sure there are people out there that get up at the very early hours of the morning and goes to work on creating content uh, for you. But it's not just about giving you the content, not about just giving you the information. It's giving you the opportunity to plug into something every day that you can keep coming back to, to as you go out there and you're testing ground and you're testing things and you're seeing, okay, what is working for me? But then on top of a testing ground, ground you also have – um, another, you have a group of people who will support you going through this process in an unconditional way. It's extremely unique. It's extremely powerful. And many of you are taking this like it's one of the most precious things you've been ever, you've ever been given in your life. I thought I had something that I could demonstrate. And you're really making the most of this opportunity to work with a world-class coach with an incredible community of like-minded people. So this is a happy, beautiful day. This is the My365 mug. We have a limited amount of these mugs here. Click on the link uh, in the post and you can get yourselves or want, or get your hands on one of these. There is a catch. Uh, but if you look at the video, you realize what the catch is. The catch is something that you could do that's so simple that could really improve your health like this. Something you because people think, can you really improve your health just by clicking your fingers? Hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so we are looking at emotional stamina this week. So what is my goal for you this week? My, my goal is definitely to make you more aware of how you can have more stamina in the emotions that you have and how you deal with certain emotions. Okay, so let me just say that again. My goal is to help you understand how you can deal with your emotions uh, a little bit better. Can anyone tell me any emotions they ever have that they really wish they didn't have? Anyone tell me, any emotions you've ever had? Mm, what are they? What about a little bit of 
fear. Anyone ever had any fear before or worry or doubt or anxiety or let me see, what else do people have? Guilt. Yes, guilt. Uh, anyone have a rejection? Anyone ever felt any rejection before? Frustration? Just, you know, write those down because what anger, we're going to be looking at some stuff this week to help you have more stamina. Depression, overwhelm. And I can't thank you guys enough for being here because sometimes when you people think about emotional stamina, it's like when you talk about phobia to people. You talk about phobias. Someone says, oh, I've got a phobia of, I don't know, sausages or spiders. Even though those of you that have got a, a phobia of spiders, immediately you'll go, <gasps> now, there's no spider here. Not that you can necessarily see. Yet you're thinking, if we're going to talk about it and if I'm going to deal with it, then, oh, my God, I've got to feel the emotion rather than, no, 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 we can go around things, right? You don't have to feel any depression this week, you know? You don't. You don't. But what I'm going to show you is some really, really cool stuff to help you deal with those emotions, help you have a better perspective of it, and then give you some tips and tools uh, to help you move through the world in a different way. But on a Monday, one of the key things that we always do is I want you to raise up raise up. Come on, everyone, if you're standing up, okay, everyone do this. Everyone do this. If you're sitting down and you're comfortable, stand up. Stand everyone, stand up, and just go up on your tiptoes, okay? And then see if you can go a little bit further than that, right? Give us a lift. Mm -hmm. We're cooking. Those of you that remember that advert, right? So you can stand up, stand tall, okay? Stand taller, stand tall. This is all we need to do. I want you to stand up a little bit taller so that you can become more aware. So, Today, just become aware, what are the emotions that I feel a lot of? And, you know, just through, you know, your whole life. Please don't look at this as right or wrong or good or bad. If you want, this is my advice. I'm your coach. How many of you look at me? Pete Cohen is my coach. How many of you tell people, yeah, i got a coach. It's Pete Cohen. Because you should tell people that. You should be very proud that you have someone like me in your corner, someone who believes in you. So if I ask you to do this, don't label it. Just become aware of it. You know, it's just like, okay, mm, like, a, like a mad scientist. Hello. Yes, I spent the day observing, looking, and I saw lots of different emotions there. I saw some, you know, some worry and fear and doubt and sadness and depression and rejection and loneliness. By the way, loneliness kills, right? Loneliness kills. And we're going to, we're going to, get you guys in such a better place this week. It's going to, uh, I am your coach. I, I, if you want me to be, I am. All you got to do is show up. But some of you find that really hard just to show up and do something every day for 10, 15 minutes with a, a pen and paper. And you go to work on something. You say, okay, what am I doing? I'm, I'm learning from him. Because this is a check-in as well. I check in every day. So when we look at emotional stamina, another way of looking at this could be emotional hygiene. Hygiene, hygiene. Is, uh, is anyone here hygienic? Oh, that smells a little bit, actually. And you know what? I've got hairy armpits. Um, it actually does smell a little bit, but I've been up very early. I've done a bit of exercise. My hygiene. Now, if I stayed like this and didn't wash, my wife would probably tell me. If I didn't clean my teeth, she'd probably tell me. My breath would smell. My armpits would smell. If I didn't change my clothes. Is hygiene important? Is it important? Is it important? Get your hands on one of those mugs, by the way. But wash the mug. We will wash them when we send them to you. Is emotional, is, is uh, physical hygiene important? Do you know, uh, thousands, not hundreds, a hundred years ago, people really didn't pay that much attention to it. And there was one person, one doctor, because a lot of babies were dying uh, who were being born. And one doctor said that, hang on, maybe... It's got something to do with us not being clean because many of the doctors were going from places where there were dead bodies doing autopsy and they didn't even wash their hands. And then they'd often go and deliver a baby. And many of these babies would, would, would die within a few hours. And he just said, maybe it has something to do with bacteria. And people were like, no, you're crazy. Are you mad? No, it's heresy. This guy got in a lot of trouble for speaking out. 
which is what some of us do, right? We often get in trouble for speaking up. Shh, be quiet. When people suggest something, maybe we could do something about this. But eventually, uh, what he he was right. And people then now, if you go into hospitals, personal hygiene, you know, you've got to spray that stuff on and put it on your hands. You think about how much difference personal hygiene is made. But what about emotional hygiene, emotional stamina? People don't. It's crazy. Think about it. It's absolutely crazy. If you cut yourself, what do you do? Right? So we look about hygiene, but health, physical health. What happens? Physical. If you fall over, right? Let's imagine you fall over in the street now. What's the first thing you do when you get up? You go, is my mind okay? Is my mind okay? No, the first thing you do is, am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? You look at your body, don't you? If you cut yourself, you put a plaster on this. I spoke to the amazing Kate Carruth uh, yesterday, who has uh, created the executive producer of all of our master classes that our elite members have access to. And we spoke about this, right? You put a plaster on something, right? Which can stop the bleeding. But some people keep the plaster on. And really, you shouldn't keep it on. You should take it off and let the, the environment, let nature take its course. But if a child falls over, you know, a child will often know what to do. They, have, they, they know what to do. They've been shown once, oh, I've cut myself. Get a, Mommy, get a plaster. But what about when we experience fear, worry, doubt, resentment, loneliness? And this is so interesting that a lot of people just don't know this, that we often make it worse. Imagine if you cut yourself and you thought, well, you, you didn't cut yourself. You fell, or maybe you did by accident. And you thought, well, you know what? That cut's not deep enough. I'm going to make it deeper. You didn't, it, you'd never do that, right? But that's what happens because we don't know with our emotional health, we don't know what to do when we have resentment, when we have guilt, when we have re failure, loneliness. We just don't know what to do with it and we often end up making it worse. Does that make sense to everyone? And we're very ill-equipped. We just still, but this is what I've been researching for years and years and years. Why? Because I kept seeing the same issues occurring. And it's fascinating. I remember being at school. If you fell over in the playground because you were running around, ah! They put you in a in this little room, and they put a plaster, and then they gave you a sweet. So guess what we started doing? We, we started telling everyone, "Hey, if you hurt yourself, um, you, they give you sweets." So we started hurting ourselves on purpose because we knew we were going to get something sweet. So many of the things that we have learned in our life. And it's okay to say, you know what? I don't really know how to deal with rejection. Well, you do because you deal with it the best possible way that you can. And I admire you for that. This information that I'm going to give this week, once again, you need to share this with someone because someone needs to know this because it's going to change their life that when they experience those emotions, I mean, the main ones, this is what we're going to be looking at uh, this week. I mean, there's quite a few, but I think the ones that are uh, probably can you believe this this is volume uh four and this is now finished look these are all notes that we've made and i'm so proud of this anyway i digressed the main ones we're going to be looking at are failure uh rejection rumination uh tr loss low self-confidence but the, the biggest one is loneliness Loneliness is really the biggest one, right? And often when we're lonely, we just keep it to ourselves. We don't have to do anything about it and we compound it because we think, well, I'm so lonely. There's no point reaching out to anybody else because they won't want to help me and then we feel more lonely. So we're going to take this whole thing to a whole new area. New area? Yeah, why not? And I appreciate every single one of you showing up here today because I really believe in you. I know what you're capable of. I've seen human beings do phenomenal things you know i got some friends right now in houston texas and uh, dr bob who some of you will be meeting very soon and they've been up for a couple of nights literally pouring getting buckets of water and emptying buckets of water into their swimming pool because there's water everywhere and that's often when we get to see the best of people when we have no choice when we do have a choice and sometimes the easiest choice to make is the choice that we've made before if you want to do that then that's up to you. If you want to face up to things, put a big smile on yourself and say, I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. Say it with me. Say, coach, I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. Are you ready? Come on. What are you ready for? 
to be amazing. My one of my my coach now, Tim Dingle, he talks about the word amazing. What does it mean? It means coming out of a maze. And guess what? He came out. <gasps> it was amazing. It was amazing. That's what we're going to be doing together. I'm ready. I know you guys are ready. Let's do what needs to be done. Have an amazing day. Tomorrow, we'll, let's get into some specifics. But today, get a notebook. Just be curious. What are the emotions? Do I want to, do I feel rejection? Yeah, I do sometimes feel rejection. Rejection is so powerful. It's hardwired to the same parts of the brain that pain is associated. It's incredible. It's incredible. And I'm going to share with you some amazing stuff. Uh, and just as if you're ready to change, say I'm ready. Just say I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready to change? I mean, if you're not, you're not. But are you ready to change? Because if you put your hand on your heart, it's one of the things my coach showed me. If you do this and you go, I'm ready. Notice how you feel. I'm ready. And when you hear a voice in your head that maybe goes, then you go, oh, hello. Let me show you. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Notice how that feels when you do that. I'm ready. No, I don't, I don't feel anything. I don't feel anything at all. What are you doing when you're doing this? How many can you feel your heart? You feel your heart? I'm ready. What is this psycho babble? This is you. What's the oldest form of healing? Hugging, holding before medicine. You're holding yourself. I'm ready, coach. Coach, I'm ready. It might not be easy what we're going to do, but we're still ready. Ready for what? Ready for you to be incredible. If you haven't shared this, please share this. Uh, I appreciate every single time it happens because you know what? I know that sometimes just one person will see this and their whole life will change because of something that you did. I'm ready. You're ready. We'll see you tomorrow. It's probably one of the last chances you're ever going to have to get yourself one of these mugs. We'll be a collector's item because that's no longer our logo. I'm still proud to wear it because it's the original. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Much love. Thank you for watching, guys.